I'm William Weintraub, I'm Professor of Medicine at Thomas Jefferson University in Philadelphia. I'm very pleased to be back in Italy at this wonderful conference on ischemic heart disease. This is really a terrific conference in which we all learn so very much. I had the opportunity at this conference to speak about revascularization in stable ischemic heart disease. And I reviewed the major clinical trials comparing both coronary artery bypass surgery uh, and percutaneous coronary intervention to medical therapy. There have been a series of trials now over the last 35 to 40 years on, on uh, uh, this subject. The older trials comparing coronary surgery to medical therapy showed advantages to uh, coronary surgery, both in terms of quality of life and survival, at least for the, the sickest patients. However, those trials are really old, and medical therapy at that time was not the same as medical therapy uh, today. We, didn't, we didn't, generally did not give the patients uh, aspirin or beta blockers or ACE inhibitors uh, or uh, uh, um, statins. Statins, of course, weren't even available at, at, at that time. We lack more contemporary trials comparing coronary surgery to medical, me medical therapy. And so that's still an area of uncertainty. There's also an advantage in quality of life with, with uh, coronary uh, surgery with less chest pain. The story for, for percutaneous coronary intervention is even more uncertain. Though the trials are far more con uh, contemporary, but really have shown no advantage in preventing events with percutaneous intervention compared to medical therapy. And here the medical therapy is much more consistent with our current standards of, of medical therapy. There was an advantage uh, to coronary intervention for chest pain. However, it did not persist, and after several years, there was no difference between patients randomized to medical therapy and patients randomized to percutaneous uh, intervention. So the place of, of uh, revascularization in stable ischemic heart disease for most of our patients uh, remains un, uh, uncertain. There will be ongoing trials such as the ischemia trial which will further uh, resolve the, the, the issue. What is really quite certain, however, is the importance of optimal medical therapy. The patients have both a therapeutic lifestyle and appropriate pharmacologic uh, therapy. We know these things both prolong the quality and the quantity of life.